God nor man, no beast so fierce but know some touch of pity. Oh, but I know none and therefore I am no beast. Oh, wonderful when devils tell the truth. Oh, more wonderful when angels are so angry. Thou save divine perfection of a woman, of these opposed crimes to give me leave of circumstance but to acquit myself. Vouchsafe to fuse the infection of a man of these known evils, but to give me leave to curse thy curse itself. Fairer the tongue can name thee, let me have some patent leisure to excuse myself. Fowler than heart can think thee, thou can make no excuse courage but to hang thyself. But by such despair I should accuse myself. I did not kill your husband. Why then he is alive? Nay, <laughs> he is dead and slain by Edward's hand. <laughs> Thy foul throat, thou liest! Queen Margaret saw thy murderous vouch on smoking in his blood! I was provoked by her slanderous tongue that laid their guilt upon my guiltless shoulders. Thou was provoked by thy bloody mind that drinks on aught but butcheries! Didst thou not kill this king? I grant you. Dost grant me? Oh, he's gentle by virtues. Better for the king of heaven that hath him! Heaven, where thou shalt never come. He was fitter for that place more than earth. Now I fit for any place but hell. Mm -hmm. Yes, one place else, if you hear me name it. Some dungeon. Your bed chamber. <laughs> the respite I take where thou liest. So will it, madam, till I lie with you. I hope so. I know so. But gentle Lady Anne, is not the causes of the timeless death as blameful as the executioner? Thou was the cause of most accursed effect. Your beauty was the cause of that effect. So I might live one hour in your sweet bosom. If I thought that, I tell thee, homicide, these nails drew that beauty from my cheeks. Oh, these eyes cannot endure that beauty's wreck. I would I were to be revenged on thee. It is a cruel, most unnatural, to revenge on he that loveth thee. It is a quarrel just and reasonable to revenge on him that killed my husband. And he that bereaved thee, lady of thy husband, did it help thee to a better husband. His better doth not breathe upon the earth. He lives that loves better than he could. Name him. Plantagenet. Why that is he? The self-same name, but one of better nature. Name him. Here. Why doth thou spit at me? Would it were mortal poison for thy sake? Out of my sight. Thou dost infect mine eyes. Thine eyes, sweet lady, have infected mine. They would they were fastless to strike thee dead. I would they were. Thou might die at once. For now they kill me with a living death. But now thy beauty proposed my feet. My crow heart sues and prompts my tongue to speak. Tis not so lips of scorn. For it's made for kissing, not for such contempt. Lo, here I lend thee the sharp pointed sword, and humbly beg death upon my knee. Nay, do not pause, for I did kill King Henry. Twas I that stabbed young Edward, but twas thy heavenly face that set me on. Take up the sword again, or take up me. Though I wish thy death, I will not be thy executioner. Then bid me kill myself, and I will do it. I have a law. <laughs> that was in thy rage. Speak it again, and even with the word, for both their deaths shall have been accessory. Would I knew thy heart? Tis figured in my tongue. I fear me both are false. The man was never true. <clears throat> well, well, put up your sword. Say then, my peace is made. That shalt thou know hereafter. But shall I live in hope? Oh, man, I hope live so. Thou safe to wear this ring. T to take is not to give. Look at my ring and compass thy finger. <coughs> Even so thy breast encloses my poor heart. Where both of them, for both of them are thine. With all of my heart, much it joys me to see where I become so penitent. Vinny, for one. It is what you deserve. And I deny it from all already. Was ever woman in this human wood? Was ever woman in this human one? Oh, I'll have her, but I will not keep her long. Ha! See. <laughs>
Bloody 